Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. In today's episode we're going to talk about hair loss, uh, specifically androgenic alopecia and this remarkable 50% rule that you've all been asking about. So stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Welcome back to the show, everyone, and thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so in past episodes, we've talked about the 50% rule, and this is a, a comment that we get on the channel uh, quite frequently. It's something that I get asked in clinic uh, a lot as well, is to explain what this 50% rule is and how it relates uh, to hair loss, specifically androgenic alopecia, and what does it mean? What are the implications? So if we look at specifically androgenic alopecia, or male pattern hair loss, or female pattern hair loss, it is not an overnight phenomenon, meaning that you don't go to bed one night with a full head of hair and wake up, thankfully, bald. It is a process of miniaturization. And so what that means is that at the beginning, if you have a very thick, healthy hair, under the influence of things like uh, DHT, uh, what will happen is over every life cycle of that hair, that hair will become thinner and thinner until it gets really so fine and wispy that it falls out and then doesn't grow back. But it is a process of miniaturization that occurs over every uh, life cycle of that hair. When the hair is its strongest, it has a, a lifespan of about three to five years. But over under the process of miniaturization, what happens is the hair shaft diameter becomes thinner, but also the lifespan of that hair also shortens. So it won't get to that three to five year mark. It may only get to one to two years and then eventually uh, a few months and then hairs will, will shed. So they, if you let them grow and don't cut the hair, they may fall out. Uh, you, get, might get, you might lose quite short hairs. So, so this is the important thing to understand, that hair loss is not going from thick hair to no hair. It is actually a process of miniaturizing over every life cycle of that hair. And this is important when we look at medical treatment for hair loss. We talk about things like finasteride. We talk about things like minoxidil. And how does that help? Well, we, we say a lot, and I say a lot of this in clinic as well, that you can't get something for nothing. So it doesn't make you regrow hair. But what you can do is try and stop it from getting any worse. But there is this thing called the 50% rule, which is if you are able to get a hair follicle at sort of 50% of its diameter of what or great 50% or greater of its diameter from the original, then in the presence of things like finasteride or minoxidil, you may be able to bring this back up to its original density. You may be able to. But the arbitrary figure seems to be 50%, which happily is about 50 microns. If you look at the, um, the average dense, uh, the width, the thickness of a hair is about 100 microns. Um, and if you, can, if you can get to that hair before it reaches 50 microns, then you have a chance of bringing it back to, to full thickness. Now the key here, again, where it gets complicated is that not every hair under, is going through that same process simultaneously. So it's not that every hair on the head is at this position or at this position. You may get some hairs here, you may get some hairs here, you may get some hairs that are at that part of their uh, cycle. But if you can get those hairs in this early phase and implement uh, medical therapy, so this before this 50% rule, then there is a chance that you can you know, turn back the hands of time, so to speak, and come back to this point. If you're a bit too late and you're operating in this section of the, uh, the hair cycle, then the best that you can hope for is trying to maintain the status quo, trying to stop the progression further down that path, but try and be, remain there so it doesn't progress any further. And that's if your hair shaft diameter is less than 50% of the original or uh, smaller 
than 50 microns. So I hope that affects, uh, no, sorry, not affects, I hope that clarifies the effect of the 50% rule. Uh, thanks again for all your questions. Please keep them coming, we really enjoy them. And uh, please leave comments below, we'll try and get to your questions in due course. Take care. <laughs>